Look at this. Fossils discovered in southern Utah shows new evidence of how the fearsome Tyrannosaurus Rex lived. And Max, it is nothing like the movies. Surprise, oh, surprise. <laughs> it's really cool and interesting. Fox 13's Haley Higgins shows us evidence in a new, new research release today. The famous Trianosaur may not have been the solitary predator we've come to believe. New research out of Utah shows they were social and may have hunted in large groups like wolves or lions. That takes a fair amount of brain power. Dozens of separate fossils together suggest Tyrannosaurus lived in complex social systems with specific hunting roles such as ambushers and chasers. The research is based on a rare mass death site found inside the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, aptly named the Rainbows and Unicorns Quarry. I consider this a once in a lifetime sort of discovery for myself. I probably won't find another site uh, this this exciting and scientifically significant during my career. Through physical and chemical evidence, paleontologists believe multi-generational dinosaurs died together during a seasonal flood 76 million years ago in what is now southern Utah. Being in a social unit or a social gregarious uh, assemblage, these tyrannosaurs might have had a better chance at taking on some of these really large or really dangerous herbivores on the, on the scene. The discovery is considered a tipping point for reconstructing how some of the Earth's largest carnivores behaved and hunted in Utah. Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah. And it could have political implications. National attention to the Tyrannosaurus Rex study comes as President Biden considers restoring Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument to its previous size. The Washington Post's coverage of the finding, which we're showing you here, focuses on the monument decision. The monument was reduced by about half by President Donald Trump. The Post story notes that the T-Rex fossils were found in current monument boundaries, but that significant ancient rock formations are now outside of the new boundaries.